Hello everyone, Mike Rempel from Another Set of Eyes with today's Excel Bytes blog post. I had a recent request to convert a vertical list of products and their ingredients into a table. So I thought I'd share that with you and let's take a look and see how we can do that in Excel. So here I have a list of products, Barcob, Lemti, Moselle Pots, and Fendar, and each one has a different number of ingredients. The first one has A, B, and C, Lemti just A, B, Moselle A through E, etc. And I want to convert it into this table so I can create one formula, copy it through this grid, and have it populate the proper ingredients from this vertical list into this table. So let's take a look at how to do that. I'm going to go to our second sheet here. And the first thing we're going to do is we're actually going to utilize a helper column. And what we want to do with the helper column is create a unique value for each one of these. So what we're going to do is number them. And to number them, I'm going to take this product and I'm going to concatenate that with the count if function and the count if function is going to count with the range dollar sign C dollar sign 2 over to C2 and my criteria is also going to be C2 I'll close that so what the count of function is going to look at the range as I copy it down and identify the number of that specific item. So I'm going to hit enter and you can see it's concatenated Barkov with the number one. If I copy that down a couple more times, number two, number three, because for example in here it's doing the concatenation of Barkov here in C4 plus from the range C2 to C4, how many times does C4 occur? In that case, three. So if I copy it down through my entire list, it'll take the products in column C and concatenate them with the quantity or the count of those at that specific point in the list. So now I've created my unique list, and we're going to use that with a VLOOKUP to populate our table. So let's start our VLOOKUP formula. I'm going to do an E VLOOKUP tab. My lookup value is going to be this product here, but I'm going to lock that on the column, and I'm going to concatenate that with the numbers 1 through 5, which correspond to the number of columns, but it also corresponds to the number of ingredients I have here. And to do that, I'm going to use the columns function, and I'm going to indicate my array here to be, in this case, dollar sign $j$2 dollar sign two to $j$2. Close that. So there's my columns array. My table array is going to be from B1 to D19, and I'll lock that and make it an absolute array. My column index, I want the one, two, third column, and I'm going to have a false or an exact match, which I can just put a zero, close my parentheses, hit enter. I'm going to center that just to make it look better, and you can see it is identified by looking up Barkov plus a number one for the columns function I've used there to count those columns. And it's looked it up in my table and given me the ingredient A. Now if I copy that across, you'll see I get A, B, C, and then I get an error on the ingredient four and five because those do not exist. So I'm going to hit Control Z and I'm going to add an if error statement here to eliminate that issue. I'll go to the end, hit comma, put in double quotes to put in a blank, close that. Now when I copy that over, it doesn't give me an error in columns four and five. And when I copy it down, it completes my table based on the unique identification I put in column B and the ingredients that I have in column D. So I can go ahead and hide that column and again, you can see the formula that I used, which is a VLOOKUP, 
with a concatenation of the product name and the column number that I'm in, looking in that table range with my helper column and returning an exact value. And there you have it. I hope you like what you see. If you do like what you see here, please take a minute to share this post on your favorite social network. I can be found on Facebook, Google+, Twitter, LinkedIn, and YouTube. So I hope you enjoy this. If you'd like to see more, please feel free to stop by my website, excel-bytes.com, and I hope you subscribe. So have a great day and happy excelling.